Morning, Steve Green in Chicago with the morning grain comments. We have a mixed trade overnight with beans down a little bit, meal down a little bit, wheat, corn, and soybean oil up. Outside markets, uh, U.S. stocks are down, the dollar's down, and uh, we've got hogs sharply lower after Friday's bearish uh, hog report. Um, a perfect weather weekend uh, for harvest. Uh, we're still hearing yields well above expectations, and that may be weighing on the beans today. Um, funds may be actually putting on some long wheat uh, short soybean positions. Uh, they also may be getting out of some long meal short oil positions. Uh, this is the first day of the index roll, long only bean positions out of November beans. And first notice day for October meal and oil is, is tomorrow. Also we have a USDA report tomorrow when they give us the final uh, stocks for September 1 for corn, beans, and wheat. They also give us the final winter uh, all wheat crop for 2014 here in the U.S. and they could revise the 2013 soybean crop. We're not expecting a lot of fireworks out of this report. USDA reports are usually pretty volatile. But since we're in the middle of harvest, uh, we don't expect too much reaction uh, to the numbers. Um, we expect, you know, given the prices, uh, some people are saying 850 cash beans to the farmer in the West, 250 corn prices. Uh, we expect that the farmer could be selling beans off the combine and trying to store as much corn as he can, and that could, could be offering a little bit of support to the corn market. You know, we still think, the market thinks that bean prices, corn prices are going to continue to work lower because of the big U.S. crop. We saw where 2% uh, parts of Brazil soybean crop for 15 is already planted. Uh, their monsoon really doesn't start until once we get into later in October, but they have some shower activities uh, in central Brazil, and so uh, we expect them to add acres, and assuming normal weather, they can add to world supply of beans and, and offer some uh, resistance to pricing. So the market's still talking about 850 beans, $3 corn, and maybe a little support here in the wheat. Uh, if the funds are beginning to put that spread on. As always, these are my thoughts, not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services, and have a safe and profitable trading day.